Hi Earth Signs, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I'm here to do your singles reading reading for the week ahead. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, this is for singles. You're single, you're completely single, okay? And it's for the next seven days, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We're gonna get one of these, then we're gonna use that deck right there. <laughs> Beautiful. The universe. The world. You have the world in your hands. You're about to see a whole new world. Your whole world is about to change, right? That's what this is. In reality, that is exactly what this is. Your whole world is about to change. One phase of your life is over. Something new is beginning. Something big. This is a singles reading. There's a good chance that you aren't going to be single for much longer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, if you're not looking for love, then you should probably click off this reading. This is a singles reading for love. <laughs> this card wanted to come up so bad, it's not even funny. In this exact position, this is the third time, the third time I took out this deck, you know, and I was looking at it. This is this came up reverse. I saw it, okay? And then I started shuffling, and I set the deck down, and it was on the bottom reversed. And now you just saw me, you know, do the little um, together thing. Third time. The fool reversed. You got to be, you got to take a risk. Are you afraid to take a risk? We're going to get some more cards. Afraid? Afraid to start over? Afraid to begin again? Is that it? You're afraid to begin again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Huh. Ooh! Judgment reversed. Doubt. This is self-doubt. I think you're protecting yourself. You may not be making the right judgment call. You may not be seeing something clearly. You know, I'm Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm Taurus, Sun, Virgo, Rising, and Capricorn, Moon. So when I'm doing this reading, I mean, yeah, you may not be saying things clearly. So when I'm saying this stuff to you, I'm also saying it to myself, just so you know. I'm not judging you. This is judgment reverse. Keep that in mind. Now, this is about judgment. How are you judging other people? Are you judging them correctly? Five of Cups reversed. It's beginning to realize that you have another opportunity. Mm, the Hermit. That's you, Virgo. Being enlightened. Getting ready to go. <laughs> yeah, getting ready to go. It's like, oh, you see, the, the, you're being 
enlightened. You see the lightning is lightening that up. You're being enlightened. It's like you're going through some sort of period of enlightenment that is making you see things very, very differently. Through a different light. Because without that light, it's darkness. So you're starting to see things in a different light after perhaps not forgiving or not accepting the truth, making the wrong judgment calls in the past, not forgiving, not releasing the past, letting your fears of getting hurt, whatever, hold you back. Now you're being enlightened, right? Now you're seeing things from a different light. You're beginning to realize, yeah, there's other opportunities, but there's a big, great big world out there. There's so many people in this world, and that's what you're starting to realize. And so you're giving up whatever it is that you've been holding on to, that warrior mentality. You're giving it up. You're giving it up. You're letting go of that. You're seeing. You're seeing things differently. You are. Thank you, Lord. Queen of Swords reverse. That's that bitterness that's holding you back. That bitterness and resent for taking risks in the past are holding you back. We're going to focus this in right now. And it's time to let go of that anxiety. And that's what's happening. You are releasing. You're releasing that bitterness and that anxiety. Okay? You are. These are closing doors. Nines are closing doors. Look at the freaking reversals. Son of a gun. If somebody doesn't feel good enough about themselves here, it's like you have a self-image problem. You may not see that you have an opportunity for love because you don't think you're good enough. You're not. It's your own self-esteem that's messing things up. It's like you have an opportunity. Somebody's probably going to come in. You're going to think you're not good enough. But whoever this person is, they think you are good enough. And you've got to let go of your anxiety, your fears that you're not good enough because you are good enough. You're making the wrong judgment call against yourself. It's like you're trying to protect yourself. because, And you are. You're trying to protect yourself from taking any risk. I mean, you don't want to take any risk because you're afraid to get hurt. You don't want to put yourself in that situation again where you're just going to become the victim. But you have an opportunity for love here if you can see things clearly. See things through a different light. Realize that this world is big. You could... Uh, Be decide this is make the seven of cups reverse making that decision. I think you are making a decision to close that close off those negative thoughts to allow. Yes, it's like you guys are totally trying to protect yourselves. Totally, totally, totally. And it's hindering your success. It is. It's hindering your it's a lack of self-confidence here. There really, really is. Your, self, your lack of self-confidence is hindering your ability to get into any new relationship. It's like you've lost hope. You've lost hope in love, so you're not focused on love. But this, again, is beginning to realize. So let's, let's clarify that Five of Cups reversed. Four of Swords beginning to feel alive again. So yeah, okay, good. You're starting to come out of this, this thought process. You're starting to release the fears and the anxiety. You're at the very beginning, though, of releasing them. You, got, you still got some work to do. So I think this week you may be starting to feel more alive. But there's still a lack of ambition. There's still a lack of drive. I mean, I just shuffled and flipped again. We're still getting all these reversals. There's an absence of, of concentration and focus on love. It's like, I just don't have time for it right now. I don't. You know, it feels like right now you're still healing over some pain because now we got the Three of Swords again. You're still releasing. You're still forgiving the past hurts. You are still in the process 
You are. You're still in the process of healing. So, you know, sometimes that takes years and years and years. So if you are single, I don't think this is a week of you diving in a new, any new relationship. No, I don't. I'm not going to pretend that I do. I think this is a week of not focusing on relationships and focusing on your image, focusing on your awareness, focusing on your anxiety and your resentment and your bitterness. It's focusing on releasing that need to defend yourself. I don't think you have your eye really on anyone at this time. It's reversed. And I think you're just not feeling, you're working on yourself. You're trying to build up your image. Your inner and your outer. Your character. You're working on your new beginning, okay? You're not the same person that you used to be. And you're going through a transformation. You're completing a massive, huge cycle in your life. And at this time, it's about you getting to your destination whole. So, you know, I really feel like this is not a week of you accepting any love offers or making any love offers. I don't see it. I don't. There's no love in these cards. None. Because you're working on your self-esteem, your self-confidence, your willpower, your, your releasing, your mistakes, because this is uh, reckless behavior, you know, you're working on releasing and healing, and it hasn't completely, I mean, there's lack of complete healing here, with a star card and a strength card reverse, it's like the healing has not come to an end, or even come close to an end, yes, you're, you're letting go of the negative thoughts, you are doing really good, you are, you're doing really good with letting go of the, you know, the, your depressive, depression starting to dissipate, your anxieties, the fears, whatever. They're starting to slowly flow away, you know, and you're starting to forgive the past and you're starting to release the past hurts and you're starting to accept the truth and feel alive again. You know, you're starting to realize that there's a great big world in front of me that I don't need to... I don't need to be bitter and resentful forever, whatever. Because she's looking out of the situation that you're trying to get rid of it. That's at the end, it's looking out. It's like, I don't, I don't want to hold on to this anymore. And I think you're in the process of doing that. So I don't think that this week you are ready to get into any love relationship. I don't even see any offers coming in. And I don't see anything, I don't see you making any offers either. Because I feel like... You know, this is just is not the week. It's not the week. Is there any love offers coming in for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Three cards. Is there any love offers coming in? You know, we got this King of Wands here that may be in your life, which is the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that may um, be hindering you in some way. This person... Um, Maybe taking some of your energy. It could be a father. Could be a boss. Could be I don't know who it is. Some I don't think it's. A, it could be a love interest. It could be a love interest. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person. Maybe on your mind, may have ended things with you in the past, has stolen your ambition. So you could have been dealing with a fire sign that has really zapped you in some way, zapped your energy. We have fire, we have Aquarius, we have Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't matter who we have. Yes, it looks like, I mean, the Eight of Cups, somebody is walking away. Traveling. 
You're in the you're you're planning on traveling. Infinity to peace. You are working on bringing peace back to your life at this time. And that is what this is about. This person could have left you or you left them and now you've come to some sort of acceptance. Here's an hourglass. It's like time has run out. Time has run out. You can't. It is. Time is running out. Your time. Your clock. And that's realizing that it's time to fly. It's time for me to fly. So, you know, I really feel like this. Is, there's no love coming in this week. I don't think that you'll be accepting any love. I don't feel like you'll be making any offers. I think right now you probably have multiple options on the table because we got the Seven of Cups here. You have multiple options, but, you know, you love, you're working on self-love because that's her cup. Okay, that's her cup. She's working on self-love. I'm working on, that's what I'm working on. I'm working on self-love. And I'm headed to a new destination. And right now, it's all about me. It's about making myself whole. It's about my oneness. It's about me finding the power within. I'm in the process of manifesting and shedding my old skin so that I can bring success to my life. So, no, there's no love this week. I'm sorry. It's not that you don't love other people or whatever. If you're single, it's like, no, it's still all about my oneness. It's about my wholeness. It's about my success. And I'm still completing this chapter. I'm still in manifestation mode. And I don't think there is not anybody that could come in and convince you or distract you from your mission. So that's what I have, Earth Signs, in regards to love for the week ahead. I feel like you are releasing or some releasing, really releasing a person, you know, that has stolen your self-esteem, your self-worth, your self-confidence, your energy, you're regaining it, whoever this person is. There's been a lot of thoughts about this person. It's really hindered you. You've hung on to it for a long time and you've waited and waited and waited and waited. But the time is up. It's like I, it's over. And you realize that. So yeah, I, I really feel like you guys are using the resources within you to make some big changes in your life and it doesn't include involving an, another person at this time that's what i have earth signs good luck